Alright bro, we'll go in that lane. Bet. Nah. <laughs> Turn. Jesus. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> What's going on guys back with another video back with another dirty of 30 no matter how much i wash this car it cannot stay clean but look how much snow it is like last night it just randomly snowed out of nowhere a bunch of snow so super hard to keep my car clean but in this video i'll be changing my spark plugs and my ignition clothes so since i got my stage 2 tune i haven't really felt the real power because my spark plugs aren't good enough for stage 2 so this video i'll just be changing those out you know so i'm actually going to be able to press the car today because usually it just misfires like whenever i floor it it just misfires so i didn't really know what stage two felt like but i'm freezing let me go inside the car okay so like i was saying i've never actually felt the true power of stage two because i've never been able to floor the car because it would just misfire way too much i've mostly just been enjoying the pops so once i change the plugs and the coils i'm going to be able to actually step on the car so i'll give you guys a pov of everything you know i won't give you guys a full tutorial on how to change it but i'll show you guys maybe like a time lapse or something but you know i'll show you guys once it's done and i'm actually flooring the car my reaction to the power because i've actually never felt it before so yeah that, sh that should be exciting like i said it's just the spark plugs weren't bad the ones i have they're not bad they're just not good enough for stage two so they actually have a term for it i think they called it like colder spark plugs i'm not necessarily sure like what it means completely like i can't give a full detailed explanation on what it does but like I, I know what it does but i just can't give a full explanation on what it is you know i just know that it's better so it can handle the stage two power some people say you you can do it without changing the coils but i'm already changing the plug so might as well do the coils you know i had the extra money so i'm like might as well do it because they're in the same spot so yeah enough talking hi right, guys so this is what everything's looking like i'm just gonna show you guys right here and then i'm just gonna put it in the car show you guys the after because it's way too cold outside to record while doing it but these are the ignition coils and these are the plugs so these are actually the same plugs like the same brand the same type of plugs that were in my lexus so you know these plugs are really good and this is just a wine voucher if any of you guys want that so yeah i have no use for it so if you guys want it feel free to use it and i also got this thing it's to take the spark plugs out because they said it's like a special thing so i just bought all of them on the one website so i got everything from ecs tuning but feel free to use this because i'm not gonna use it so yeah uh i'll just show you guys once it's all done all right guys so i actually finished now but this thing took way longer than i thought because i was missing a tool that i needed so i had to drive all the way back to my apartment to get the tool then continue the process because i do all the work on my car at my uncle's house because you know i have a whole driveway to myself like a whole laneway so it's just way easier than my apartment but uh, i had to come back to my apartment to finish it because the two plugs in the backyard to remove a bunch of stuff to get to them so i finally did that but right now it's just test driving the car to make sure it's not misfiring before i start the video and so i didn't really like do too much i just try to make sure it's not misfiring and it's not so super happy about that because i was kind of nervous like i know that's the problem i knew that was the problem why it's misfiring but you know it's always kind of like i don't know it makes me nervous every time i fix something i hope it actually fixed you know like i don't know maybe that's just me but it's not misfiring now i didn't do too much because i'm saving my reaction for the video so the fastest i've ever been in my car like since it's tuned i would say like like when i step on it the fa the hardest i push it to is maybe like 3000 rpms because then after that it would just misfire but now i can actually feel the real stage too because i've never felt it before so you guys will get my raw reaction there's a long road in front of me so let's get it Yo, that's scarily fast. You guys saw how I almost like, like it's spinning out, like it's crazy. Like if you don't know what you're doing, you genuinely crash the car, it's too fast. That's crazy, like it's scary. It's actually scary, like it's, it's crazy fast. <laughs> I'm speechless because I didn't know it was this fast. Like I've been tuned for probably like two weeks and just because I didn't have the right plugs, listen to the pops. Let me give you guys another pull. This is a corner, so I don't want to take it on too hard because my tires are not good. But 
like I've, I've been tuned for like two weeks and I didn't know how fast this car is until now because I, I couldn't step on it because it would just misfire all the time. Like it's crazy that just the plugs, that's all I needed to feel the real shit. Maybe the coils as well. I don't know if the coils did anything, but I changed them as well. So I got everything. But when I say this car is fast, it's crazy. It's just because there's people in front of me. I want to give you guys some more pulls. I'm not going to be doing too much tonight because I don't know. It, it's crazy fast. I want to get used to the power, like gradually get used to it. I don't want to like push myself too much because you never know. You never know. But when I say it's fast, it's fast. <laughs> I wish you guys could feel it. Like this is the fastest car I've been in for sure. Because before this, uh, I think the fastest car I've been in other from this is a uh, Challenger RT or maybe my Lexus or the stock when this was stock. I don't know which one was faster. I think the Challenger was faster, but now this this is the fastest car I've been in. And the Challenger, I didn't actually drive it because it's manual. I'm not the best at driving manual. Like I can do it, but I never pushed the Challenger that hard when I drove it because it's manual. I'm not, like I said, I'm not the best. So I didn't do too much, but this now definitely the fastest car I've been in. Like it's about to take off it's it's fast no yo this is fast like, like it's scarily fast i'm not even lying like it's actually scary like how fast it is that's that's crazy i gotta like my girlfriend hasn't been in the car she's been in it since it's tuned but she hasn't felt it like this before because i just did it so i'm gonna get a reaction maybe not in this video but in another video i'm gonna get a reaction to it because like she said it's crazily fast like before i even got the plugs when it was misfiring because I barely did like any pulls. Like I said, I barely brought it up to like 2,500 RPMs or maybe 3,000. And she's like, yo, it's way faster. But like now, I can imagine a reaction now. So I'm going to get it for a video. Maybe the next video, maybe this one. Oh no, maybe. You guys will see though. But when I say it's fast, like I'm genuine, like it feels scary to me. And I'm usually like, I'm usually the guy to go fast. Like I don't really care about speed. I usually like to go fast. My Lexus, I push that to max. A lot of you guys may have seen that video. That's the fastest I've ever been though. And that's the, not the fastest car I've been in, but that's the fastest I've ever been driving a car. That makes sense. And like, I did that. But when I tell you this, this thing feels way more scary than doing that. Like I pushed the Lexus to 260 kilometers on like some back roads. I don't know if you guys saw that video. But when I, I'm telling you guys, this is scarier than that. <laughs> this thing is fast. It feels like it's just about to take off or something. It's gonna take me a while to get used to the speed. And some people say you get used to the speed in no time. And then you wanna go like stage three or then you wanna get an M or then you maybe wanna do upgraded turbos. It's kind of crazy though, but I don't know. Like, it's hard to think that I'm gonna get used to this speed, but I know, I know it happens. I know it happens, you know, that's just how it is. All right, bro, go in that lane, man. Nah, <laughs> this is fast. Yo, this, it's like, it's crazy to think. Damn, I've never felt this kind of speed. Oh, I missed my turn. I should have turned there. I can't even stop. It's too fast. <laughs> but yo, this, this is crazy. Now, I feel like I can gap anyone. I know I can't, but I feel like it, you know? That's how fast it is. I feel like I can gap anyone. I know I cannot, because I know people are going to come at me in the comments for saying that. I know I can't gap everyone, but it just feels like it. Due to how fast it is, this is the fastest I've felt a car. It just feels like I'm unstoppable. You know, I think I can gap anything. <laughs> this is crazy. And they say a B58 is faster than this with downpipe tune. That's crazy to think. And this is stock M4 speed. Okay, look how far that car is away from me. Look how fast I'm about to catch up to him. Uh, I might can't, I, I don't think I can. I got a turn. Jesus. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> the power just kicks in like that. Like, that's crazy. The power just like kicks in. I don't know if you guys can see it, the difference on camera, like when it kicks in. That's, that's, that's crazy. And I also have a throttle controller. Like, uh, I don't know what you guys call it. If, it. if you call it throttle controller or pedal commander, I don't know what you guys call it. But that thing that you put on, like, the one I have, it's pretty sick. Like it's sick. Like you just, you legit just plug it into your gas pedal under there and you can control like how responsive your throttle is. So I'm going to install that soon as well. And I'll make some videos on it. It's actually crazy. I had one in my Lexus as well. It's crazy. But 
I'll make a video on that for you guys also. But I might install it on this car. I'm not sure yet if I want to. Like, I might not do it just yet. I might wait a little bit like until I get a little bit more used to like the Stage 2 Plus. Then I'll install it. But it's crazy what that thing can do. Like, you can put it in like sport mode and like it's so much more responsive it's crazy like it's hard to explain but you guys can see it in my videos if you guys were watching me since the lexus days you know what i'm talking about but like it's it's super good you can put in like i don't remember all the modes i think they have one that's some shit like rolls or racer i don't remember if it's called that but it makes your car so much smoother like it's crazy what the little thing can do and you also have the sport mode like i'm saying and then the uh, the pedal is way more responsive but enough of me talking let me let you guys hear some pops i'll end the video off there <laughs> but yeah that's enough for now but thank you guys for watching this video again i'll catch you guys in the next one maybe it's a pov i don't know yet because you guys love the povs but thank you for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one